Okay, guys, notice my wrist. You can, you can see where the bed normally goes, but it's tanned over because I haven't used my watch in a while. And the reason being, the watch band is broke right here. You can see right there, see how the metal is separating? It's already pulled away. So I don't want to lose this. This is a good watch though. This is the Casio Watchman. Oh, I love this watch, so I don't want to lose it. So to determine what type of watch I have here, I already know this is a Casio Mudman and this is the G-Shock and on the back of the watch here you have to um, look on the magnification but it's going to show the model number here and the model number of this is the G9000 so just basically get the um, or make sure you order the correct uh, band and always get the um, true Casio replacement got this one off of eBay uh, if you don't get the true replacements, then it may not fit perfectly because uh, this one has the screws over here um, that, that you're going to replace it with and the other ones um, just have a pin that you have to pop out. So I'm going to show you how to do this one. Okay, remember to use uh, these type of screwdrivers because you get uh, the, the tips on the inside. You can change uh, out the tips to what you want. And the main reason you want this one because it has a thick handle, you can hold on to it so you can put enough pressure so you don't strip the screw. Don't use this type because there's no way in the world you can hold on to that skinny little rod there and expect to turn it without stripping. Okay, and some of these mud men, you would have to go on the back and you have to stick in the screwdriver in here and pop out the pin. This one, you don't have to do that. This is very simple. You just have to make sure you have the really thick grip ones on the, the, the micro screwdrivers. And the only thing you have to do is make sure you're pushing in with enough pressure so you don't strip the screw heads. And just and, and um, just screw it off um, counterclockwise. Now the reason why I say that is because if you screw you screw around and you strip these heads out oh that's bad that means you're gonna have to order these and it looks cheap trust me they're not cheap so just go ahead see that's it that's all you have to do to take this off and as you can see here that was broken. This this was already starting to come off already, so this is no good. Definitely got to get rid of this. So I went ahead and got the um, Casio replacement fan for the G9000. Okay. Alrighty. So, um... This is the way it'll go back on, like so. And I always keep the little tray here to, uh, for my screws. So to put this back on, see this part here? This fits into the slot of the, like, like so, all right? So what I do is I'm gonna already put the screw here, very loose, like so. Gonna pressure fit this on, push it in. Oh boy, working with small stuff is not that easy, especially when you got um, thumbs for fingers like me. There, and I, I got. Got it partially in. Okay, line this up. Do the same thing for this side. Now I got the pilots done. See, look at that. Looks good. So I'm just gonna tighten them up. 
Got the other side in. I don't do it wrist tight. I do it finger tight. See? Finger tight. Because you don't want to strip the stuff out. So. That's it. Finger tight. There it is. And now the other side. See, I really don't have to do this side. But since we've got the brand new piece, you might as well. Because, you know, with the exposure to sun, the UV light. It's going to eventually um, wear out anyway, so let's just do the other side. Okay, so I got mine off of eBay from this company called Parts Plus. Um, Parts Plus gives really good prices on your Casio parts. They, they sell all the um, originals. So this is the company I went through. This I think only cost me $23 and the shipping was free. So you really kind of beat that. Okay, I love this. I love this watch. I mean, I really like this watch. That's why I'm gonna stick with it. See, this would not have lasted long, trust me. So, and I've had this for about maybe six, seven years and the band broke, but you know what? The watch is it's a good travel watch. It, it keeps different time zones, stopwatch, lit background. It has alarm, has everything you're gonna need. So I'm very happy with this unit. And um, I'm, I'm gonna use this for a long time. I'm gonna keep it for a while. So that's it. This is how you change your watch band. Thanks guys.